Good morning, guys. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. This is um, Sissy. We are just doing a cocker cut on her. Um, I would just want to talk about one thing real quick that some other groomers may do, but I don't. We all groom differently. I do not keep eyelashes. Um, and I make it very clear when my clients come in, if they are new, that I don't keep eyelashes. Um, you know, you guys can believe what you want, but I believe it obstructs their vision. And if they grow backward, it can actually, um, you know, cause infection. So I don't keep eyelashes. This dog came in with... I mean, eyelashes that were probably three or four inches long, and I just told them, hey, I don't keep eyelashes. And they said, why? Um, and I explained to them why. So we're just going to get started. I'm going to do the basics on her, nails, sanitary, ears, uh, paw pads, and then we'll get her in the bath. So here is what I'm talking about. These right here are the eyelashes, these right here. Um, when these grow long and they're sticking out this long, I don't feel that's fair to the dog. Um, this is another reason why I recommend keeping the eyelashes short, is this dog clearly has something going on with the eyes. Uh, both, both um, you know, this time and last time, this dog has this green, goopy stuff in the eyes. So that's another reason that these eyelashes need to be kept short. So we're just going to get started. I'm going to start with 40 and we're going to do these paw pads. Uh, trimming the paw pad hair improves traction for the dog and prevents matting. I'm just going to spin her, turn her around. Gonna use the Dremel. Had a client come in to pick up their dog. I don't even remember where we were. So, okay.
time. And we're just going to gently turn her. Easy. Okay. Do sanitary. 15 setting. I believe we shave, yeah, shave the belly on this dog, yep. This is strictly by owner request. We shave the belly. Okay. So then I'm going to move this to a 40 setting and we're going to shave the inside of these ears real quick. Allow them to breathe a little better. make the ears not so heavy okay um yeah so I'm gonna brush out these ears real quick uh, yeah you gotta turn just a little bit girl Yeah, there's no brushing these out. Um, it's all, there's a big mat here, there's a mat here, there's a mat here. I don't understand owners that don't understand that they have to brush their dog in between groomings. They think that, oh, my groomer did it and so they're, they'll be fine till the next appointment. Well, if you look in here, this is all just one, this is just one big mat. There's a mat here. You know, there's a mat here, there's a mat here. So they're gonna have to be shaved. Uh, I mean, all that is just one big mat. Ears are the number one thing that I will not demat. Um, it can cause hematomas, like, oh, this is just matted to the skin in here. It causes hematomas, and I've seen it really bad in one ear. I mean, in one dog, um, the ears were so matted that as soon as I shaved the dog's ear, the blood was released back into the ear and the blood started seeping through the skin and it was, it's really painful and itchy um, and the dog constantly shook its head and it made it worse and so I had to put a happy hoodie on it and it just, um, it's not a good situation. I, I don't demat ears. Uh, because, you know, even if shaving the ears off causes a hematoma to happen, the hematoma would be 10 times worse if you try to demat matted ears. So, I mean, you can just see it's just, 
one mat, you have got to brush your dogs between groomings. You have to. If you're not going to brush your dog, then they need to be cut short. It's not fair to the dog that, that the owner doesn't take care of the dog and then expects the groomer to work magic. We're not magicians. Okay, so this somehow is not matted. So we're just gonna get her in the tub. We're gonna get these eyes cleaned up and yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get this water warming up. Today I am using the Esprit Perfect Calm Shampoo with Lavender and Chamomile. Just trying to use up the scallon before I go to another one. If you guys are new here, this is a bathing system uh, made by Save Your Fur. The link can be found down below in the description box. See how much she's shaking her head? That's because that blood is going back to the ears. It feels weird. Just gonna get her all wet. If she conti continues to shake, I will put the happy hoodie on her um, after she's done in the bath. Okay, I'm just going to scrub. So as I'm scrubbing the coat, this is clean, soapy water that is coming out. And so it's washing away any dirt, debris, any of that. Um, allows for a cleaner coat, much more efficient bath. Uses less resources, water, shampoo, time. I have it posted everywhere that I do not demat. If a dog is found to have matting, they're going to be shaved. Um, and I know some people don't agree with that and that's your opinion, but I'm not going to torture a dog. Um, so if a dog is found to be, sha or to be matted, they get shaved. Ninety-nine percent of people are understanding about that. Trying to loosen that gunk up on her eyes. Turn it to rinse. I'm gonna get some uh, blueberry facial. This is the Bark to Basics face first. I'm just gonna take a little bit and just get it in there. If you guys want some of this, the link is all the way down at the bottom, groomerschoice.com. There's a link down there for you guys. So, 
rinse my hands, and then we're gonna take this eye face comb and get that gunk out of there. get her dry and then we'll get her finished gonna get this girl finished she's gonna start by brushing her out we're not trimming the skirt today we're just gonna leave it Come here, girl. I'm going to use this. I'm going to use a nine. And This way, girl. There you go. Come here. Come here, girl. All right, so now I'm going to switch. blade come here 
there it go. Come here, girl. You gotta turn your head. So we don't want a sharp line here. We're not we're not digging in and then stopping. Um, you kind of have to flick your wrist a little bit, so it's a blended line. We don't want a sharp line. And we don't want to press super hard when we get down to this point either. Just light strokes. Sit. You can sit. No. Okay, I'm just gonna turn her and do the tail. When you don't have to trim the skirt, it's a pretty simple, easy cut, especially if the pattern's already been established. Okay, I'm just going to turn her. This girl is quite a bit overweight. Um, you know, can't feel her ribs, can't feel the hip bones. Okay, so you don't want to do this. <laughs> now I'm trying to fix it and it's just making it worse. So we're just going to leave it, leave it be. Okay, turn her. This up here is what's called the crown. Um, I don't really like them, but it is breed standard. I'll clean this face up. Change ten blades. <sighs> I don't want to be using a hot blade on the face. And this stuff in here smells so bad. You gotta turn your head, girl. This stuff in here that's 
Got all the eye gunk on it. it smells so bad. I hate to do this, but I'm going to go down a blade. Actually, I'm going to use this and see if I can get closer, get that, get this hair out of there. Oof, smells so bad. And it's it's not just right there, it's also down in here. This nasty yellow greenish junk oh okay anyway get scissors we're gonna trim around this ear um these owners are probably not going to be happy that these ears had to be shaved but um not going to do matte ears already trimmed the nails so we're just going to trim around the feet
turn her one more time. So there she is. Almost done. It's going to take this. Ear cleaner. Okay. Just going to his ears aren't that bad. I think they're just stained. Yeah, they're pretty clean. All right. She is done. We're going to get her a bandana. Going to use this Bark to Basics Salon Scents Fresh and Clean. This is from Groomer's Choice. If you guys would like to try out some of this, it is down below on the very bottom Groomer's Choice link. And uh, yeah, she's all done. Thanks guys for watching. Don't forget to check out the links down below. The bathing system and the nozzle that I use are in the description box. It's SaveYourFur.com. Um, it's not the common spelling, but it's down in the description box. I also have an Amazon storefront for everything that I use and recommend. And we have a personal wish list also down there. So thanks guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.